Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I've got something really cool lined up for you. If you love adding an extra flavor to your website, you're gonna enjoy this. Today, we're going to create this fancy button with a special hover effect. So, when you hover over the button, the text get slided up with a slight stagger effect for each character. Looks great, isn't it? So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, we're in VS Code. I've just prepared an empty vid project. There are no elements here, as you can see. And also, I've removed all the unnecessary styles that we don't need. First, let's start by creating our fancy button. New file, components, fancy button, tsx. Let's type sfc, which is a snippet for React component, fancy button, and we need to return the button. Let's add a text, fancy button, hit save, go back to the app component, and import it here. Fancy button, hit save, and let's add some styles to make it more fancier. Uh, fancy button, and we need to apply the, this class here. Class name, fancy button. I'm going to add a background color. It would be a sign color. Uh, add a text color, set it to white. Font size to 1RAM. Let's add a padding. A border radius to 1RAM. Hit save. Let's set our font to bold. And also I forgot to add cursor pointer. Hit save, and the last what I'm going to add is a shadow, box shadow. <laughs> Let it be a black color with some opacity added. And our button is ready. And before we implement the animation, let's handle the mouse enter events with the use state hook. Let's open our fancy button component and we need to use the use state here. Let's call it is mouse enter it, which defaults to false. And don't forget to import the use state hook. And to handle those events in our button, we need to add on mouse enter and on mouse leave events. So on mouse enter should execute a function that is going to set our state to true. And on mouse leave should set our state to false. Hit save. And for now, let's just console log the is mouse enter at event and try to hover over the button. And you see the component re-renders with the toggle state. So when the mouse is over the button, is mouse entered equals to true. And we hover and when we hover out, it sets to false. Great. Now we can start creating the animation. But first, let me explain the concept behind this animation. First, we need a text container that will hold our text. Next, we need to create a function that will split our text, including spaces, to place each character into an individual span element. And also, we would need a container for each character to place two characters, one below the other. And when we do hover over this button, we'll apply a CSS transformation that will slide up each character. So let's start off by adding a text container. Let's set the class, call it fancy button text container and place our text here. We also want to add some styles to our text container. Let's go to app CSS and for the text container, we need to position it relative. We would need to display flags. And for now, for the testing purposes, I would add an outline set to solid and to tomato color. Here's a senior tip. Always use outline to test your HTML. Great. Next, let's create a function that will split our text to each character. Let's create a function in the utils folder. Call it split string using regex.ts. And I will just copy paste the function from one of my previous tutorials called elegant text reveal effect. If you didn't watch this video, I will leave a link in the description. And this is how this function looks like. It takes an input string and using a regex, it just splits the string in the while loop and returns the character's array containing all the characters individually. 
Let's go back to our fancy button component. Let's import our function here. Split string using regex. Let's take out string and in curl braces we need to call this function and pass down our string and here I want to map over each character and return our inner span elements. So as I said before we need a container for each character. Let's call it fancy button char container. Hit tab and inside of this char container we need to render two characters, one below the another. So let's open it up and type span and place our character inside. And let's just copy and paste this span once more. Hit save and also don't forget to include a key when you map over the elements. And don't get me wrong, we can actually use an index here for the key because it's a static element that are not going to change. So let's type key equals to index. Hit refresh. And for now, you see that each characters have been placed twice. To place it one below the another, let's add some styles here. First, let's set the position relative to our char container. Then, for each span inside, we set display in line block and white space to preserve. Hit save. And also, for the last span in each char container, Span last child. We set the position to absolute, top to 100%, width to 100%, and left to zero. Hit save. We're almost there. Let's break it down what we've done so far. In the DOM, you see our fancy button with a text container inside. Inside the text container, we have char container for each character. And inside each char character, We've rendered two characters in the individual span elements, one below the another. And the same applies for each character in this button. Great. The final step is that we need to apply the transformations with the slide stagger effect. So let's go back to our fancy button component. And we will do this by passing a style attribute here to each span element that holds the character. So let's type style. And instead of building a style object here, I'm going to create a separate function here. And let's call it get transform styles. This function accepts his mouse centered state, which is a Boolean value, and an index of the character, which is a number. Let's open our function. The function should return a styles object and we need only two properties here a transform property and a transition delay to apply a stagger effect let's start off with the transform property first transform let's open the template literals translate white axis open the brackets and here depending on the is mouse enter it value we set whether it's a negative 100% Otherwise, the default state will be 0%. We can actually hit save and pass down this function to those style attributes. Get transform styles uh, is mouse center it and index. Hit save. And if I hover over the button, you see that all the characters are being transformed up to negative 100%. And on mouse leave, it returns to the default state. Let's set a transition delay here. Transition delay. We would also need a tem template literal here to use an index multiplied by that small value. And don't forget that this should be in seconds. Hit save. Let's try to hover over the button once more. And the last step we actually forget to add is a transition duration in the CSS file. Let's go back to the app.css file and we will add a transition property and set it to transform and the transition duration, uh, let's set it to 0 0.5 seconds and let's see what it looks like.
The very last step is that we just need to remove the outline and set the overflow to hidden. Hit save and try once more. Whoa, that looks great. I love this. You can experiment with the transition duration value and the transition delay value. This is a really cool animation. Go and try to apply it in your projects. And that's it for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps me to stay motivated in the long run. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.